Okay, I am finally back in action. I had decided to take a couple days off. This was a slow week. Perfect time to take a few days off. Now it is time to get back into action. I'm gonna do a couple of deals at Dollar General. You can call them any day deals, but I have a three off of 15 and a two off of 10 that I would like to use. Okay, I have a save $5 on three PNG products. The $5 PNG products are the perfect fit, but the only thing left is the $5 toothpaste. We don't have any $5 mouthwash or toothbrushes left. I'm just going to stick with three of the $5 toothpaste because I don't want to go over or spend that one penny extra. This is what I'm picking up. All three of the toothpaste are $15. I mean, $5 each, $15 for the three. Now, there is mouthwash here, the Crest mouthwash, that's $5. And there is a toothbrush that's $5 if you can find it. I'm guessing a lot of other people have done this deal probably last weekend with the five off of 25. Uh, my coupons didn't pop up last Saturday. They didn't pop up until like a couple of days ago. Here it is, my deal. I'm using my three off of 15, the five off of three, and then $4 off of a $15 purchase. That will leave me $3 to pay out of pocket plus the tax, making these $1 each which I can work with because this is a high value toothpaste. And um, you know, I can pay a dollar for the high value toothpaste. Here's my receipt, $15 for the three. There is the five off of the three toothpaste. The $7 store discount is the three off of 15. And then the four off of a $15 purchase. This is done at a non-updated store. If you are updated store, only one of those coupons are going to come off the store digital, either the three off of 15 or the four off of 15. That leaves my out of pocket $3, 324 after tax. We save $12. Too bad. I, I really wanted one toothpaste, one mouthwash, and one toothbrush, but you gotta take what you can get. I also have a two off of 10 birthday coupon that I'm going to use, and I'm going to do the axe deal. I'm going to pick up two of those because we have that $7.50 digital off of For the X body wash, that's $11. Subtracting the $7.50 off of two digital and then my two off of 10 birthday coupon will be left to pay $1.50 plus the tax. And here's my receipt. As you can see right there, the $7.50 off of two digital and then the $2 store discount dollar general coupon. $1.50, 162 after tax, we save $9.50 with this transaction. Two really great deals at Dollar General. I'm going to try to squeeze in something at Walgreens. I have a ton of coupons that are about to expire. So let's head yeah, over I made there. it to Walgreens. Y'all, it is so dead in here. I cannot believe it. It has never been this slow. Could it be the absence of any good deals? Yes, I don't even know what to get because I'm in the laundry section looking at the only laundry deal is the Arm & Hammer. And this store, oh, it has the packs. So I might get that. But I have $27 worth of coupons, our registry rewards that expire on the 27th. And you know, when they expire on the 27th, there's nothing I can do with them. With the fact that I actually have no booster, most of these will just be buying product and getting back nothing. Nothing, y'all. No points, no nothing. But I have to use We them. have our little clearance section right here. And looky here, I love the raw sugar body wash. I did ask the price and it's $4.79. So if your store has any, you know it's $4.79. I'm gonna try rolling registry rewards. I'm gonna see how well that goes for me. I pick up a Colgate Optic White Toothpaste for $4.50 using that $2 digital rubber. toothbrush, $9. Using two $2 digitals, I'll pay five out of pocket and I'm gonna roll a $5 registry reward. So I'll pay nothing out of pocket, getting back a $4 registry reward. first transaction, there's my two toothbrushes, my $5 registry reward, my two $2 digitals. Subtotal is zero, paid 74 cents tax. Got back my $4 registry reward for picking up two of the Colgate the only products. only thing 
other than the toothpaste that I'm gonna pick up is a caress. I've been looking at this all month, hoping we would get at least one digital, but we haven't gotten any digitals. But the caress is buy two, get a $4 registry reward, no digitals. So I'm gonna roll $8 in registry rewards plus Walgreens cash and get back that $4 registry reward. I should have done this when the Ibotta rebates popped out, popped up, but I thought the Ibotta rebates would last uh, the following week. You know, it didn't even last like three days. The rebates were up there for like three, four days and then they were just gone. For my caress deal, I picked up two of them. That was 12, no coupons, just registry rewards. That left my subtotal after tax, $4.99. Um, and I used $4 in Walgreens cash, paid 99 cents, got back my $4 registry reward. I rolled as best as I could. Three different accounts did the Colgate deal. Rolling with a $5 registry reward, like I showed you previously, getting back three $4 registry rewards, and which mean I only lost $1 in registry rewards, rewards per deal. That was the best I can come up with. And then for just that $4, for the two $4 registry rewards, I did want the Caress Bar Soap. So I just went on ahead and got that and took the loss. But yes, Walgreens has us on punishment, four different accounts, and no boosters of any type printing out. What is up with them? Why are they being so stingy? I don't wanna say, um, someone's gonna say, well, you know, 1,200 uh, stores is closing. They've told us that earlier in the year. And yes, we've been on punishment before earlier in the year. I was just hoping that um, a few months ago, matter of fact, now they have us back on punishment again. Hopefully next week will be a better week because that's the beginning of the new month. So we'll have to see what happens. And I'll start off with $16 in registry rewards, hopefully, after losing um, uh, the registry rewards that I just lost. But other than that, still, I was able to do something and make it work, rolling those registry rewards. At CVS, I'm just gonna do a couple of deals here. Uh, I don't really have the greatest CRTs, I never do. And I have very little paper coupons. But the Maybelline is, get $6 extra care bucks when you buy two. I'm gonna grab two of the baby lips, priced at $4.79. That'll be $9.58 for the pair, subtract that $3 Maybelline CRT, we'll pay $6.58, getting back our $6 extra care. Two Maybelline products, here we go. There's my $3 CRT. I used $6.57 in extra care bucks. That left my subtotal one cent, 17 cents after tax. Got back my $6 extra care bucks. And for my last deal, we're gonna do the Eucerin deal. Spend 20, get the $10 extra care bucks, and I'll pick up two of the daily hydration creams at $10.29. That'll be $20.58 for both of the items. I'm gonna use this five off of two insert coupon. Should glitch with the three off of one digital coupon for the user that's on the app. After that, I'll pay $12.58 out of pocket, getting back that $10 extra care bucks. Okay, here we go. Both of the items, that's my five off of two did, uh, insert coupon, $3 user in digital my extra care bucks one of them adjusted down because of course my subtotal is zero and i should have thrown in one of these soft soap body wash buy one get one free but i did not but i just paid the tax a dollar 37 and of course you know i use the gift card got back my ten dollar extra care bucks for purchasing two of the user in lotion remember when we used to get the big bottles of user in lotion for like 9.99 so much for that, but this is it for CVS this week, and I will see you in the next one.